Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, we will crochet the teardrop Christmas ornament. And um, this project is for intermediate skill level. We'll make it in two contrast colors. It has 22 rounds. And I will show you there's an interesting stitch here when we start decreasing. Uh, it's called invisible single crochet decrease. So hopefully you will learn something new here as well. And my ornament measures. about eight inches in diameter and about three and a half inches from top to bottom and for my main color I'm using Aunt Lydia's crochet thread size 3 purple and my contrast color is Aunt Lydia's metallic gold. And because this is size 10, I'm going to need two balls of this to hold two strands together to match the thickness of the thread size 3. You will need a little bit of stuffing for the ornament. And my crochet hook is size 2.25 millimeters and let's get started and starting with main color we start with magic ring also called adjustable ring so I'm gonna place the thread tail facing downwards across my fingers make a cross around your index finger Insert your hook under the first strand, pull the second one through from under, yarn over, pull through the loop. And we can start the stitches here. First round is six single crochets in the ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then I'm gonna pull the ring tight, pulling the tail. And before I start my second round, I'm going to get my contrast color, the gold, holding two strands together ready. Uh, so I'm going to make the slip knot with that. Just going to keep it here. And we are working in continuous uh, rounds, so um, no beginning or end really. The second round is uh, two stitches in each stitch, so increasing, gonna have 12 total. And um, first stitch is with our main color, so insert hook in our first single crochet. Pull up loop and don't finish because the second stitch is going to be with contrast color. With two main color loops on hook, insert hook through that slip knot of second color and pull that through loops on hook. Now start the second single crochet in the same stitch. 
insert hook through pull up loop and again we're going to change to our main color to make the next st stitch with uh, purple I always bring my first color around in front and then the second in the back so I'll show you more so here is my main color yarn over and pull through two loops and these were both in that first stitch next stitch is going in that second single crochet pull up loop with your main color but don't finish the stitch bring up your second color from the back yarn over pull through two loops in the same stitch insert hook through pull up loop contrast color and don't finish change to the first color pull the thread up in front of it yarn over pull through two loops and going in the next stitch so two stitches in each stitch here this is the third stitch on first round start your first single crochet with main color then bring up second color from the back and pull through two loops and hook then in the same stitch start the second stitch leave the loops and hook bring up your first color yarn over pull through loops next stitch And here's the last stitch. And finish the last one with main color. And you have 12 stitches now on the second round. On third round I'm going to increase again I'm going to make two single crochets in each uh, first color stitch one single crochet in each second color stitch and from that last stitch I'll go straight to that first st stitch insert through S make your first stitch and finish it then in that same stitch start second stitch but don't finish Pull up second color finish with that in that next second color stitch start the stitch with second color don't finish pull up first color finish with that again in the next stitch make your first stitch first color second stitch don't finish pull up second color from the back finish with that and make next stitch in second color stitch but don't finish switch right back to the first color and this repeats
and the third round finished it has 18 stitches starting round four going to increase make one single crochet in each first color stitch and two single crochets in each second color stitch also um, try to keep the other thread that you you're currently not using inside the stitches so making my first stitch in first color stitch keeping second color thread inside the stitch you can finish that one go in the next stitch start it but don't finish going to switch to my second color bring it back up from the back finished stitch with that in the next second color stitch i'm gonna make two single crochets make the first one you see my first color thread is inside the stitch you can finish that then in the same stitch start the second one and but finish it with the first color In the next stitch bring this second color here inside the stitch and then go to the next stitch and start this one but don't finish I'm gonna bring the second thread color thread up from the back finish with that In the next stitch here make two with second color one finish the second one again with first color one and two And here two stitches one and two finished round four I have 24 stitches and at this point I'm going to insert stitch marker in this first stitch here to keep track where my round begins round five increasing again first make two first color stitches one in each stitch keeping second color thread inside my stitch again the second stitch here finish with second color so I'm gonna bring it up from the back finish here in the next second color stitch make start the stitch but finish with first color and now in that next second color stitch we're gonna make one first color stitch and one second color stitch a lot of changing on this round here right after that second switch back to first color now again two main color stitch first color stitch one two the second one need to finish with second color here start the stitch finish with first color and in the second stitch we make two stitches first first color switch to second color pull through in same stitch start second stitch 
change back to first color again two first color stitches one two change to second color one switch back to first and here two stitches first color switch to second and second color change to first and repeat finished round five and i have 30 stitches now on round six we're going to increase in each of these first color stitches start the same keep the second color inside the stitch and make first two with first color one two but finish second with second color now one with second color switch back to first color and in here we make two first color stitches one and two and the second switch back to second color and make one second color stitch here in the next stitch switch back to first keeping second color inside stitch make two first color stitches one two switch back to second color make one switch back to first in the next stitch here two first color stitches one two finish the second stitch with second color and make one second color stitch back to first color and repeat two first colors here finished round six i have 36 stitches okay. so i did not move my stitch marker here uh, you can move it up if you'd like i'm okay uh, with it here i see where my next round starts start the same go into that first stitch keep the second thread inside the stitch and we make two first color stitches and change the second one to second color make one with second color in that next stitch change back to first and here three first color stitches first one in the first stitch and in that second we make two stitches one and two but the second one switch back to second color and then one with second back to first here two first color stitches one two switch to second one with second back to first and here three first colors one in the first stitch and two in the second stitch one two switch the second one back to second color and repeat finished round seven and i have 42 stitches round eight start the same first color stitches in first two stitches change the second to second color 
one with second color change back to first and here four first color stitches first make one in each x two one two and then two in that last one one two and the second one switch back to second color make next one with second back to first color here make two first color stitches one two back to first second color and one with that switch to first and again make four one two three and four and one with second and two with first and repeat i finished round eight eight and i have 48 stitches round nine start with two first color stitches one two switch to second color one with second switch to first and here we make five with first color so we increase again in that last one so make one two three and then last one make two four and five but finish again the last stitch with second color make one with that switch to first and here two with first color one two switch to second make one with second and repeat here again increasing that last one here to have five with first color then one with second two with first one second finished round nine i have 54 stitches now and on round 10 one more time we're going to increase starting the same two stitches with first color one with second and here we will make six single crochets so first make four one two three and four and in the last one make two one two total six and switch back to second color one with second then two with first one with second again six with first so make four and then make two in the last one round 10 is finished and i have 60 stitches next three rounds don't increase just repeat the, uh, exactly the same and make rounds 11 12 and 13 here you do always six stitches one is second color two first color one second color again six first color and three rounds like that and i finished 13 rounds 
on the next round 14 we're going to decrease the stitches and I'm going to show you how to do invisible single crochet decrease so we still start the same make these first two single crochets with our first color next stitch with second color change back to first color and here in the next two stitches we're going to decrease and how this works is um, first insert your hook through the front loop of the first stitch so here so not the both loops as usual but only that first front, the front loop here. And also insert hook through the front loop of the next stitch. So I have two front loops on hook. Then yarn over and pull it through these two loops. Then yarn over again and pull through two loops and hook this is the invisible single crochet decrease so it makes it look a bit better and more even than uh, just single two single crochets together and next make four single crochets with your first color two three four change to second color next stitch second color then change back to first two stitches with first next again with second and here again in first two stitches we'll make the invisible decrease inserting hook through the front loop of the first stitch and also through the front loop of that next stitch Yarn over, pull through both loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And with that next, with these next four stitches, again, make sure your second color thread is inside stitches. and repeat this i finished round 14 and i have 54 stitches on the round round 15 again we decrease start the same And we decrease again first two stitches here on this part same way insert hook through front loop of the first stitch and also through front loop of the next stitch yarn over pull it through yarn over pull through two loops Keeping the second color thread inside stitches, make three single crochets. Two, and three. And continue same way. 
I finished round 15 and I have 48 stitches now. Round 16, decrease the same way. First start with two first color stitches, then one second color stitch. And here again decrease in first two stitches. So insert hook loop front loop here. Also front loop of next stitch. Yarn over pull through. Yarn over pull through two loops. And now we have two more stitches left to make. I'll bring my second color thread up here to keep it inside. One and two. Change to second. And then continue same. Two stitches here. One here and decrease here. Finished round 16 and I have 42 stitches. 17. Start the same. So we have here three stitches left in first two decrease again same way the front loop second front loop pull yarn through pull through two loops now just one stitch here left to do keep the second color thread inside stitch Pull up loop and then switch to second color. And then continue same. Two first color stitches here. One second color here and decrease here. And round 17 finished, I have 36 stitches. Next 18. We still start the same. Two stitches for, with first color. Then next with second color. And here we're going to decrease these in these next two first color stitches. Same way. Insert hook through front loops. Pull thread through. But now we have to finish, we have no more stitches here. We have to finish this with second color. So pull through with the second color. Next is one stitch with second. And two with first. One, two. Again, one with second color. And here is the decrease. First and second. Pull through loops and then switch to second color 
pull through two loops and hook and continue finished round 18 and I have 30 stitches 19 my stall starts the same one and two here change the second color and here just make two stitches with second color skip this first color stitch go to the next second color and finish it with first color And then two with first color. Again, here make two with second color, just skip this one. I finished 19th round and I have 24 stitches now and at this point I will add insert my stuffing and now round 20 I'm going to make first these two stitches with first color as before one two and then change to second color here in these two second color stitches do the invisible decrease again insert hook through first front loop then through the second front loop yarn over pull through these loops and now when i have two loops on hook i need to change back to first color thread pull it through two loops next two stitches with first color one and two finish the second stitch with second color again two together first front loop second front loop Yarn over, fold through these loops, and then yarn over with first color, fold through two loops, and then two stitches with first color, and here again two together with second color. Finished round 20. I have 18 stitches, 21, now we're going to decrease the first color stitches, again with a invisible decrease technique, so third hook through front loop first stitch, then front loop second stitch, pull the first color thread through the loops and then change it to second color and pull it through two loops and here just one stitch with second color that you have to change to back to first color finish so 
So I find it easy if I just insert my finger here and hold it because this these last rounds are tight. Again, decrease. Insert first front loop, second front loop, pull the first color thread through, then change to second color and over pull through loops and hook and make the next stitch with your second color. Change back to first. And repeat. finished round 21 I have 12 stitches here and I'm done with a second color so I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to make a knot As close to the stitch as I can inside here and then I'm just gonna tuck it in here can make the last round and the last round is six uh, stitches with first color so I'm just going to single crochet one in each first color stitch skipping that second color one made six stitches here and now this is the first slip stitch in that one and now I'm going to uh, chain 25 for the string one two three four And then I'm going to slip stitch here on the opposite side of that top stitches. Now ready to cut off. Fasten off. With my sewing needle, I'm going to weave in this and make some stitches here to tighten up this top. And 
here is my finished teardrop ornament I hope you have fun making your own you will find the written pattern on my blog the link is below video description box thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting